Uh, in this case, um, it's, a, it's a concrete table and it weighs approximately 6,000 pounds. So obviously I couldn't make it outside and, and then move it in. So I had to form up uh, and have the concrete pumped in from the street. And the entire slab is floating on inner tubes as an air suspension system. I gradually became bored with just recording tangible, uh, recognizable objects. I tried to find ways that I could maybe start with a recognizable object, but um, alter that wavefront that's moving towards holographic plate. I tried to set up um, an environment where there was a certain amount of randomness uh, to how the wavefront would be altered, and I knew I knew that. Um, I could use a transparent medium and cause disturbances in that medium that would alter how the image would look or, or alter the wavefront in ways that I couldn't predict. And by this method, I built up a palette of images that were caused from certain effects that I did have um, some hand in creating. So there was a slight amount of control, but ultimately the, uh, the image was, was unpredictable.